Good evening. This video is for educational purposes only. Come on, come on. We're going to be dealing with the shooting that was over in Kansas City. And uh, not only there, but all around the world. Uh, there has been uh, mass shootings and, and whatnot. But we're going to address those things because um, I want to educate you and uh, get you guys on the right track. And to show you guys that uh, all these individuals that are talking about we're praying for you, our prayers are gone up and whatnot. Listen, uh, no one can pray for you guys, okay? Because why would you, I, I just want you to think about it. Just use common sense. You'd better close your eyes, my child, for a moment in order to be better in tune with the infinite. Why would you tell me that you're praying for me and your prayers supposedly work, but yet and still my, my daughter or my son or my family is, is laying over there lifeless? Um... That doesn't make sense to me, you know, in the media, they also, you know, when uh, uh, something that, as they call tragic happens, uh, well, 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 we're praying for you, you know, uh, we're, you, you're in our prayers, and, 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 and uh, again, I, I ask you, use common sense, what good is that? I mean, when are you guys going to ever get tired of going outside re releasing balloons, thinking that it is the devil or Satan or some some entity that uh, is doing all of this. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. But uh, I'm here to educate you and show you that you've been lied to. You, you've been tricked. And no one prayers goes anywhere. Because, again, I say, if their prayers was anything, any, uh, if their prayers were valuable at all, whatever transpired wouldn't have happened. But one has to understand that the Most High God, He's in control of all things. Now, okay, now, we're going to go to the book of Amos, chapter 3, verses 6 and 7. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city? And the Lord has not done it. So, when you say evil has came to your city, and something tragically has happened, or evil would not, the Most High God saying, I did that. It was no devil. The Most High God says he shares his glory with nobody. So, when the parade was interrupted with gunfire, and the individuals, you know, got hurt and whatnot, the Most High God did that. It, it wasn't no devil. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you in the Most High's Holy Word, according to the Bible. Not according to what I think, but I'm going to show it to you right here in the pages. Now, we're going to go uh, to, the, to the book of um, 1 Samuel. Chapter 16. Let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 16. Now I'm going to show you here in the Most High's Holy Word, according to the Bible. See, you want to know? I'm going to show it to you. See, because you have been conditioned, and you have been taught by Western civilization, and you have been molded the way that they want you to mold. Okay? Here's a, here's a, 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 a sticker shock. I'm, I'm going to open your eyes. Okay, let's go to uh, Psalms chapter, I mean, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 16. Let's look at verses 15. Now look what it says. Well, let's read uh, verse 14. 14, uh, 15 and 16. Now look at this. It says, But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from who? That's got to be a typo. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's right in the pages. You've been tricked. It's right in the pages. Listen, it said it came from who? It came from the Lord. Trouble him. And Saul's servants said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from who? That can't be right. Yeah, it, it is right. It's right in the pages. See, you've been tricked. Now you're being educated. There's only one God. He's the God of the Hebrews. Okay? They can't pray. The Most High God has a representative that he has to come before him. He said, only Aaron and his sons shall minister before him in the priesthood. Now, if if that change, which, which it, it doesn't because he says, I change not. Okay? There they are. So you can see that if anybody else is telling you that the curtain been ripped down and you can go before God yourself, you can see that there has been a change. God doesn't change. But let us let us keep on going here. 
It says trouble him, right? Now let's um let's do uh, sixteen. He says, Let our law command that serpent which are before thee to seek out a man who is cunning, a uh, player on and harp. See that? And it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from 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 who? From who? That's not a typo. It's not. It's right there. It's true. It came from the Most High God. Came from God is the bonding. That he shall play with his hands and thou shall be well. See that? Now let's jump down to verse 23. Look what it says here. And it came to pass. Now we in the 1 Samuel 16 of verse 23. It, he said, and it came to pass when the evil spirit from God. This is not a typo. Didn't say from, from Satan. It didn't say from the devil. It didn't say from the adversary. It said from God. And Jesus, Jesus said what? Over in Hebrews, I, I think that's what he said over there. That he said, for this reason he came to, to destroy the one that had the power over death. I'm going to show you who has the one that has power over death. Okay? Because that's who he said he came to kill. But let's keep on going. Well, the bone saw that David took a harp and played with his hands. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. Y'all see that? Now let's go next door. 1 Samuel 18, 10. Watch it right here. And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit, from who? From God? Not from no devil? Not from the adversary? Not from no demon, not from the dark side, but from God. Came upon Saul, and he prophesied in the midst of the house, and David played with his hands as at other times, and there was a javelin in Saul's hand. There was a javelin in Saul's hand. There was a, 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 a weapon, a pistol of some kind, in the individual's hand that was over there at the Kansas City Parade. Okay? It was a weapon in his hand when the evil spirit came upon him. Now I'm going to show you what, what happened. And Saul cast the javelin for he said, I will smite David even unto the wall. The evil spirit came upon the individuals that had the pistol or the or the rifle, or whatever weapon they had over there, and then they started shooting. That's what happened. It's right in the pages. And the spirit came from God, the evil spirit that got up on the individual, uh, individuals over there at the parade. This is what happened. So all those that were telling you that, well, we're praying for you, you can see that their prayers ain't worth nothing. Their prayers isn't worth anything. Because if their prayers was worth anything, it wouldn't have transpired. Again, how long are you guys going to continue to go outside and release balloons? I mean, can't you see that there's only one God? There's only one God. There's no devil that is doing anything. A devil cannot do anything to you. A devil is a statue. The statue of Jesus Christ that's over in Rio with his arms stretched out, that is a devil. That's, that's a devil. I did a teaching on that. Go look it up to show you what a devil is. You have no reason to be afraid of, of no statue. Our ancestors that were before us, they were, the most I said, they was not afraid of no devils with an S. But let us continue here. Look at 11. And Saul cast a javelin. For he said, I will smite David even to the wall with it. And the individual over there at the parade said, I'm just going to start shooting. I'm going to kill as many as I can. Until he was tackled down to the ground. But you can see, listen, nothing is new under the sun. It's right in the pages. There is no devil. The spirit that came from God, yes, it was an evil spirit, but it came from God. God gave that evil spirit 
permission to go and get on Saul. That God gave that evil spirit permission to go and get on those individuals that was at the parade that did the shooting. He's always in control. Look what it says. And David avoided out of his presence twice. It didn't happen one time, it happened twice. But look, let's let's go again. Let's look at um first Samuel 19. 19.9. Let's read that. But let's read 8, 8 and 9. It says, And there was war again, and David went out and fought with the Philistine, and slew them with a great slaughter. And they fled from before him. And the evil spirit from the Lord, not from Satan, the evil spirit from the Lord was upon Saul as he sat in his house with his javelin, in his hand, and David played, huh, with his hands. And Saul, verse 10, and Saul sought to smite David even to the wall with the javelin. But he slipped away out of Saul's presence, and he smote the javelin into the wall. And David fled and escaped that night. They started shooting, and the people went into a, a, a frenzy and they started running for their lives. They escaped. But according to the news, one of them died. See, so you can see here that there is no devil. The Most High God sent that evil spirit over there at the parade, and not only at the parade, but it, all, over, all over this world, when you see an individual gets killed, by shooting, the Most High God sent that evil spirit. Now I'm going to show you. Let's go here. See, because y'all think that y'all can pray for protection, you know, and say, uh, speak to the mountain and get behind me, Satan, and all kind of foolishness. Listen, all that is nothing but foolishness. Now let us go to the book of um, Ecclesiastics. Let's go there real quick. Let's go to Ecclesiastics. Look at this right here now. See, y'all think that y'all can say something and this and that. You know, blab it and grab it, speak it, confess, confess it and possess it. Oh, listen, that, that's nothing but foolishness. That's nothing but foolishness. Now, let us, let us look here at Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 13. It says, consider the work of God, for who can make it? I mean, who can make that straight, which he has made crooked? How? How? How, how can you speak to the mountain and say, Be thou removed into the, and cast into the sea and shall not die on your heart, but, but believe that what you have said shall come to pass? You can have whatsoever you say. Are you out your mind? Are you out your mind? Are you out your mind? You got to be out of your mind. Let's go to Lamentations. Watch this right here. Lamentations chapter 3. I'm going to show you. You've been tricked. Let's look at verses, Lamentation chapter 3, verse 36. It says, To subvert a man in his cause, the Lord approveth not. Undermine a, a, a man. Huh? Take advantage of a man. Because he, he may not be in, 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 as intelligent as you are. It says, The Lord does not approve that. By telling a person they can speak it and then it comes to pass. Because, see, that's not true. It says here, 38 says, who is he that saith, and it comes to pass, when the Lord had not commanded it? If God had not commanded it, you can speak all day long. You can call yourself speaking. He called out, he told him, listen, that ain't nothing but, but garbage. When a person does all kind of foolishness like that, they are trying to take advantage of you to make you think that, that, that they are one up on you and that they are so close to the most High God. No! All they're doing is babbling. They ain't saying nothing. Like James Brown said, talking loud and saying nothing. They ain't saying nothing. It says here, Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass when the Lord had not commanded it? It said, Out of the mouth of the Most High proceedeth not evil and good. Look at you, my pretty. I mean, go look at, go read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, and you'll see all the evil and good in there. 
you see the blessings and the cursings. It's right in there. But let us go here. Let us uh, let us go here and look at um let's look at Isaiah. Isaiah 45. If you see with your own eyes, then maybe you will believe it. Isaiah 45. Let me show y'all something. Isaiah 45, 5 it says, verse 5 says, I am the Lord. There is no, there's none else. There is no God besides me. I gird thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west, that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. None else. I form light. I create darkness. I make peace, and I create evil. That's what it's, this is not a typo. This is the Most High. He said, I create evil. And, and, and I showed you in Amos 3, he said, when evil comes to a city, heaven, I, the Lord, did it. I did that. So when the shooting was in the parade, the Most High did that. He sent an evil spirit in those individuals, and they went to shooting and tried to take out as many as they could. It's right in the pages. Ain't no devil. Ain't no Satan. Satan ain't doing nothing. Ain't, ain't no adversary. Ain't no demons. No, it's the spirit for the most high God. Now let us keep on going. Let us look at um, Isaiah 45. Let's look at verses. Let us, let us read Isaiah 45. Let's look at verses um, 20. It says, Isaiah 45, 20 says, Assemble yourselves and come and draw near together, ye that escape the nations. They have no knowledge that set up wood and graven in their graven images to pray unto a God that cannot see. Just like I said, Jesus, the statue of Jesus out there in Reno with his arms all stretched out, it's right in the pages. He can't save you. He cannot save you. Because if he had saved, listen, if Jesus could have saved anyone, he would have saved the person that, uh, a, a person that got shot over there in Lakewood. Or even in the parade. Or all over the world. He didn't save any of them. Know why? Because that, that which God has made crooked, nobody can make straight. Now look what he says here. He said, tell ye and bring them near. Verse 21. Yea, let them take counsel together. Who has declared this from ancient time? He's saying, get, get anybody you want to. I've been saying this since ancient time. I, the Lord, have been saying this. And he, he, he backs it up. He says, who has told it from, from that time? Have not I, the Lord? There is no God besides me. A just God, a Savior. There is none beside me. Look what he says here. Look unto me. Nowhere else. Nowhere else. Jesus can't save you. Buddha can't save you. Allah can't save you. None of those. He said, look unto me and be ye saved. All the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is none else. As I stated, God always has him a representative. I am the high priest over the whole house of Israel. And remember, if any of you guys say that you know the Bible, that you've been reading a little bit, you know for a fact that God always has a representative to pray to the people, to pray to him for, for his people. He always has. Beginning with Moses, and on down through. You want prayer? Send a prayer request over. To the high priest of the whole house of Israel. And we'll take it to the altar. I will. Because I'm God's representative. In this dispensation of time. I've shown you. This is educational purposes only. I've shown you. I've shown you according to the most highest holy word. Not according to what I think. But according to what the Most High has said and, and, and what he thinks. 
See, so one cannot get it twisted and say, oh, well, he said, no, no, no. I, I told you what the Most High God said. According to this. Not according to me. So I hope this has been educational. I hope this will help someone. There is no devil doing anything. The Most High God killeth and he maketh alive. Okay? He's the one that kills. Now, we can, before I leave, let me go and show you this. Before I leave. Because I don't want you to leave here. And then say, well, oh, well, uh, he, he, didn't, he didn't show it to me. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. It says, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the king, the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. See that? See, so, so one has to see. I'm not... I'm not pulling your legs. I'm not telling you something that is that, that is not true. Now I'm going to show you another one. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32. Let's get this one before I leave. See, because if I don't show it to you, then you say, well, well uh, uh, you never showed me where God. Listen, all through the Old Testament, the Most High God killed. He did. He killed. Jesus never killed anybody at any time. So how can it be the same person? Remember now, the Most High God says, I change not. Now, we're in Deuteronomy chapter 32. Let's look at verses 39 here now. Let's, let's, let's look at 39 and see what 39 says. Look what it says here. See now that I, even I am he, who the Most High God, and there is no God with, with me. I kill, I make alive. I will, I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Now look what he says. Look at 40. He says, I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. But Jesus died. As I stated, I hope this is very educational for you. If you need prayer, look for the high priest of the whole house of Israel. Shalom.